Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. This is my Volkswagen ID3 first edition plus and this car was parked here for two weeks and did not move because I had a press car and drove with it and tested it and this was just parked here and I want to see how much range did it lose in those two weeks. So most EVs have something called vampire drain that means that when you park it and don't use it, it will lose range over time because the systems in the cars uh, in, uh, are using energy and at some point you just lose a bit of range. The question is how much is it? And I want to calculate how long you can park it <laughs> uh, until the battery is drained. Important, this car was online the whole time. You can set it to offline and it doesn't communicate with the server and you cannot see the range. But I wanted to see the range. I wanted to see how the range is going down. And I checked the range many, many times. I would say almost every day and some days even uh, more often. Um, I unlocked the car once, uh, uh, went into the car and back out and closed it again. It was just a few minutes. And, and with the app a few times because I was not sure, is it really? Uh, uh, showing the real range so I, I maybe it's not working so I changed uh, the charge limit for example even though it wasn't charging to see if I have real connection to the car and I had so let's look here is a picture of the app when I parked the car on the first day it was February 11th uh, on the Friday and it had 213 kilometers of range with 73 percent state of charge and sim salabim <laughs> Here it is today, it's 211 kilometers, still 73% state of charge. So it lost two kilometers in two weeks. That's just amazing. And I saw it, uh, like I said, I looked every day and after two or three days, it lost one kilometer. And then only two days ago, so after 12 days, it lost the, uh, the second kilometer. So it's nothing. So I can calculate in two weeks it lost two kilometers at 73 percent um, if you park the car with a hundred percent which you shouldn't do you should park it at 80 percent and you shouldn't drain it more than to 20 percent if it's just parked then i can calculate how much range that would be from 100 to zero percent and from 80 to 20 percent which is more likely and it's a lot i don't i'm not i'm calculating at home I, I i did it before at some point and i know it's really a lot many many days many months um, I think that's awesome. So you can just say this car doesn't have any vampire drain. That's just nothing. Of course, I have no idea if at some point the 12 volt battery gets low and the high voltage battery has to charge the 12 volt battery and then you have a bit more loss. On my ID3, I have a 12 volt battery monitor on there and I can see the voltage of the 12 volt battery on every day in a whole curve. Let's look at that. So here I am in the app and as you can see, this is February 11th and here I was still driving. I parked the car at around 12.30 because the press car, the Hyundai Nexo Hydrogen came, I think at one or so. And now I can go through the different days. So first day, nothing. Second day, I have no idea what happened here. Maybe I looked, I looked inside the car or something, but I have no idea what I did on that day and here too. What I noticed with the 12 volt battery or the car has to do something when you change something in the app. So like I said, the charge limit or something, but I didn't do that every day. So I have no idea why it did it sometimes and not. And then I go through the days. Well, today we have the 25th and as you can see here I know I know I changed something in the app and here as well here I can't remember it's seven in the morning and here we are now um, and important is the voltage right now is 12.17 volt and in the first day let's go back uh, it's windy and the first day here it was 12.37 so it lost 0.2 volts of the 12 volt battery so it di didn't have to be recharged so the whole system also uh, doesn't drain too much uh, well almost nothing of the 12 volt battery so you can really park the id3 and don't have a problem so cool 
If you want to support the channel, I have merch, we have Patreon, we have YouTube channel membership, um, where you get uh, early access to videos and other things that are happening, events or whatever, always background info, it's always cool. And uh, PayPal support, there's so much to support the channel. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.